All right, kicking off a brand new week as we are smack dab in the middle of summer. Mallory Brooke hanging out with us on this Monday to tell us what's in store for us. Hey, Mal. Hey Lee, yeah, we are looking at temperatures a little bit on the warm side this morning, but that's all right. And we are going to actually bring in some rain, which is so needed. Remember, most of the state, at least more than half of it, is in a moderate drought situation. So the good news is it's coming. The bad news is it might be really heavy and run off a lot, but we got to take what we can get at this point. It is a beautiful start to the day. So if you do want to get out and do something first half of the day, a okay it might be cloudy especially the farther west you are and we might start to see some raindrops after lunchtime as you head farther west so it's really going to depend where your location is as to how long you can enjoy the outdoors but a stunning sunrise this morning over portland temperatures are going to be staying into the 60s and 70s as you're waking up and getting ready for this monday especially for the kiddos that are heading out to camp you'll have a half day to do what you want to do and a half day of the rainy day schedule so we will have kind of a split forecast dew point of 62 which yesterday we were 59 so is it a lot different? No, but it's a touch more noticeable out there. There are those clouds starting to move into New Hampshire, so already getting into the York and Kittery areas, at least at the high level clouds. We're not quite overcast, but you'll probably notice it in Portland in just about another 40 or 45 minutes. We get the high level clouds in and then it'll pretty much be clouded over. That's going to limit our heating today, which on the good side, it should diminish the amount of severe storms we get, but on the bad side, it'll just kind of be that muggy, coolness outside so it's not going to be as nice the farther west you are there's that system low pressure wrapping up into the great lakes and cold front extending down through memphis with severe weather this morning we do have those temperatures staying mostly into the 60s right now dew points also in the 60s and mid 60s as you make your way toward york county where we do have the cloud cover already so starting to feel uncomfortable temperatures will move up as much as they can into Western Maine, you'll get more of a temperature spread in Eastern Maine where you get more sunshine today. So by lunchtime, we've split the cloud cover in the in half with the state basically. So Augusta Lewiston still getting to the 80s, but Portland, I think we're a little bit more stuck in the 70s. We will have those showers start to move in, I'd say after two o'clock, and it will be downpours from that point onward. And this does move from west to east through the state with some embedded heavy thunderstorms. There could be frequent lightning, some light flash flooding in some areas uh, because we will have a lot of runoff from the drought. The, the ground is pretty dry, so runoff is going to be a concern. This will continue during the overnight hours and we'll have a few showers to start off Tuesday before this rotates out and then Tuesday will actually clear out. It'll be a nice afternoon, drier, but still warm with some pop-ups still possible and we'll repeat the process going into Wednesday. So just to reiterate, the strong to severe storms likely today, most likely outside of Maine, but just outside of Maine. So just because there's a severe thunderstorm in Manchester doesn't mean it's going, not going to roam into Maine. So just keep that in mind as you make your plans for the afternoon. Seas at two to three feet today, small craft advisor going to affect later today. Overall, it's a warm summer week that doesn't get more summer, I think, than this forecast. It's taken us some time to get there, but we're finally there and we have those shower and thunderstorm chances throughout a lot of this week. There's really no break in the humidity or the heat, I would say, with the exception of today in Western areas where we might struggle because of the cloud cover. Otherwise, summer's here and game on.